on reading, dyslexia, IT, and you. Um, sabi kasi dun sa letter, dun sa natanggap kong letter galing sa Y4IT, talk on any topic you love. Kasi, so yan ang gusto kong pag-usapan kung okay lang sa inyo. At kailangan ko yung participation niya sa pag sa sa few minutes na nandito ako kasama ninyo dahil ang pagbabasa or reading is an interactive process. Okay? So, let me try if this works. Alright. My first question is, how do you read? Do you read letter by letter? No. Do you read letter by letter? Sino dito letter by letter pa magbasa? Meron pa ba? Sino hindi na letter by letter magbasa? Next. Do you read word by word? Who reads word by word? All right. I have another question. Can everybody read that for me? Do you do that while you're reading? Yes, and let me tell you that's a good thing. Okay, when you stop while you read, ibig sabihin nun, pinag-iisipan mo kahit pa paano kung ano yung inyong binabasa. So the things that sometimes your teachers may have told you when you were little, that when you read, you must read continuously and with, with no stops, that's not exactly correct, right? When we read, we have to stop every now and then so that we can think about what we read. And another question. Can you read for me? Sabi na totoo. Correcto. This happens to everybody, the best of readers. Because sometimes, when we read, our mind goes somewhere else. And when it goes somewhere else, even if we remember looking at the words, we don't remember the ideas behind those words. Now, why do you think does that happen? Let me stand here because the light's really bothering me. Okay. I'm going to have to ask you to do some things with me. Alright? I'm going to have I'm going to ask you to please guess what the paragraph is all about. A paragraph is coming. And the main question is, can you guess what the sphere is? Are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's give it a go. Everybody read aloud. It's physical? Let's go. 
continue. Breathe aloud again. about 
your prior knowledge. And being faithful and truthful to your prior knowledge is very important. Next, so sabi natin, you need to know information to be able to read. Can you read this question? You can read it, right? But can you read that? Why not? It's encrypted, correct? Oh, ma'am, puro IT nga pala tao dito. Oh, ako tao ko lang dyan, winding. It's okay. So it's encrypted. So it's... And because, of, because it's encrypted, it's hard to read. Now, I want you to read this aloud as fast as you can. Go. Oh, di ba? Three seconds. Correct? Mabilis. Okay, now read this slide as fast as you can. Yeah. 
Pag tinanong mo, what rhymes with frog? Everybody, sa rabbit, toad, and log, which rhymes with frog? Log, di ba? Bakit hindi nyo alam bigla? What rhymes with frog? Log. Yun. If you ask a child who has dyslexia, he will not tell you log. The child with dyslexia will probably say toad or rabbit because that child is not listening to the sounds of the language. The child is looking at the meaning. So actually, they're really clever looking at meaning, except they're not following instructions, which is to listen to the sound. Children with dyslexia, if you look at their handwriting, look at their one in red. The one in red is correct. But the one written in pencil, look at the handwriting, di ba? Parang hirap na hirap yung pagkakasulat. And the children, tignan nyo yung slope sa ipinakailalim. Anong spelling niya ng slope? Kasi pumabaliktad yung mga letters. This is another indicator of dyslexia. Look at this one. Look at the one in green. The child's name is Adric. Paano niya sinulat? Mirror writing. Makikita nyo? Nagsimula dito, papunta doon. Tama ba yun? Sa English at si Filipino, hindi yan tama. So they make reversals. The letters, they flip or they write the other way. And then, as I said earlier, poor handwriting. Alright. In this passage, binalibaligtad ko ang letter P, B, at um, P, B, at D. Dahil binalibaligtad ko siya, tapos ginanong-ganong ko pa siya ng konti. This is the experience in reading of children with dyslexia. Now, you are the IT people. You need to figure out how do you help people who see paper and text this way. What's the first word? Narinig ko na. Adults. What's the first word? Adults. Adults. Hindi. Hindi. Okay. Adults. 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 Nakita nyo? Adults? Yes. Nakita nyo yung adults? Sino nakakita ng adults? Okay. Adults. What's the next word? Si Jamie Oliver. 
technologies that help our speech-to-text software, or the other way around, text-to-speech software, such as the reading pen below. Very important technologies that help people with reading difficulties. And then the spelling master or electronic word maps that show people how to spell properly. They can already predict the dyslexia spelling of, let's say, dog is G-O-D. But the frantic spell master, it will tell you that your sentence actually wants something that barks, so it's D-O-G. What else help? Technologies that can change font sizes, paper color, font colors, and when you can go to help very quickly and very portable. Let me just show you that in history, the first things that were read were on stone or tablets. The tablet at the bottom. The tablet is changing. That tablet must have been very hard. The next one was the book, the printed book. And that book is very hard for dyslexics to read. But you have this new tablet from tablet to tablet. You have a new tablet that is portable, that can change font sizes. And this is a very important innovation which people with dyslexia can really use. This boy is Adric. He's a musician, but he is also dyslexic. And we found that out when he was about six or seven years old. So what can you do to help kids like Adric? You have to know about reading and dyslexia. You have to imagine the world as if you had dyslexia. Don't forget that paragraph, the adults can make this recipe with their kids. Don't ever forget that paragraph, because dyslexia has no cause. One of you might have a child with it because there's no hereditary, or there is some evidence of hereditary cause, but there's no cause, right? And you have to think of ways to make the world easier for people to adapt when they have dyslexia. Use technology to help. I remember in Adric's school, his teacher said, he had the USB and he said, teacher, may I copy your PowerPoint? And the teacher said, no. You copy from the screen and write it on your notebook. So, so the technology is actually a barrier rather than a help. So we need to make sure that we need to use technology to help everybody. And then you need to invent. And of course, hopefully, you will be a teacher and a good one. With your kid help, more kids with dyslexia can be more successful. So do you remember that passage? Do you remember what it says? No. no. This is what it says. <laughs> May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face. And the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Thank you very much.